Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What's going on? How y'all doing? What's popping off? If it's your first time here, my name is Gary aka The Plastic Boy. If you're not following me on the gram, then girl, what you doing? I've had so many requests for these palettes. I've had so many. I'm like, girl, I've done reviews on her foundations, the concealers, the Fumi collaboration. I just thought, why not, girl? Why not? So I've had these palettes for a while and these are the mini palettes by Juvia's Place. I've just used one of these palettes today and a few others and we create this look guys it's so beautiful these shadows blend out amazing like so insane if you want to find out how i got this look keep on watching <laughs> These are the Juvia's Palette Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. I really feel like Mini Eyeshadow Palettes are the way forward. People just love them because they're amazing to travel with and they're just a bit more consumer friendly. There's not like 16 shades or 20 shades where people are like, whoa, what color do I use? So I think Mini Palettes are definitely very, very forward and everyone's just doing it at the moment, but I love these. So let me show you them. So she's bought out four and we have the Berries by Juvia's, which looks like that super super gorgeous like super super nice the next one we have is the violets by juvia's which is also super gorgeous this is like one of my favorites you guys know i love purple so much also while you continue watching if you want to hit that subscribe button somewhere down there and click the thumbs up just so my video does super super cute the next palette is the Nudes by Juvia. This one is super gorgeous. Give me wedding vibes. So nice. Super, super pretty. Um, I do wish the palettes did have mirrors, but obviously they're really, really cute anyway. And obviously who doesn't have a compact mirror, you know? You know? You know? So um, this is one of my favorites and this is called chocolates by juvia's juvia's just knows the shades what people want this is super nice you could definitely do a lot of nighttime looks and daytime looks with these palettes and you can definitely cross over in between palettes they're so cute and before i start on ice i'm actually going to do complexion first just so you know i want to have that beat kind of face it's really weird i've been doing foundation then eyes at least you do eyes first then um foundation but let's just switch up and do something hella different okay so guys we're gonna start this video a bit different with complexion i'm actually gonna do contour highlighting underneath the foundation just because if you watch my videos maybe two videos ago when i did the amrezy trick i've been doing that in my everyday makeup so let's try and do that so i'm gonna do contour first i'm gonna take is it congo guess congo which is this beautiful her juvia's foundation stick but you can use the contour as concealer that's a very very um multi-purpose so i'm literally gonna go like this this is super dark but they blend out like a dream and i'm just gonna put some there and blend it out this is so dark but it will blend out like a dream guys so then to highlight i'm gonna take the shade adias ababa which is this really nice golden kind of shade here. It's kind of like a golden kind of yellow color. It's really perfect for that kind of like highlighting. And we're just gonna take that under the eye. I have color corrected before I've done this just because my skin's kind of doing a madness at the moment, guys. Let me know if your skin's acting up. Just because of the weather and my skin's not looking its best. So don't mind my skin because it looks a bit fatigued and lifeless. And I've just been having problems sleeping. So we're just gonna take it down there. I'm gonna do it a bit on the nose. So no. And so, uh, and then we're gonna all mesh this together and make it really cute. So we're just gonna take a sponge like this and blend out the highlight first. This is um, come what sponge? I think this is like a color drain sponge. How's everyone's year going? Is it meals? This year just going so fast. Oh, I just feel like this year has just started off so mad. Honestly, this is, I don't know. I just feel like so many mad things are happening, but obviously so many blessings as well. Oh, this color is so damn good. That's the one thing Juvia knows her shades in the foundation sticks. Even in the foundation, I'm gonna take um 150 in the liquid foundation, which is my favorite, which is a shade called um Kano. I always remember this shade because when I reviewed it, you guys were like, oh my god, that's your perfect shade. Make sure you always use that. So that's the um foundation I always use. Then we're gonna blend out that contour. These sticks do blend out, so don't be intimidated on how like dark they are. You guys have to give me some video ideas. I've had a few, but I just don't know. I feel like I kind of don't know where I fit in on YouTube anymore. Well, I, well, I love doing beauty, but I just feel like oh, are people tired of makeup tutorials and reviews. I feel like now everyone's just doing like very controversial videos where I feel like it's not very me. 
But I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like, maybe... I think I'll find my flavour. It just, it's just going to take some time. Okay, so now that's blended out, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Foundation, which is called I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation in the shade 150 Kano. Oh my God, I haven't used this for such a long time. I was banging this out in summer just because it stays for so long. You only need a tiny because the coverage is quite insane. I'm going to take that same beauty blender and take a tiny bit. I'm just kind of like pat it over the contour and highlight. You only need a little bit, so I'm gonna put it in the areas what I need, and that's more ma mainly around the cheek and chin area here because I've got a bit of pigmentation. But because this foundation is so full, it's just gonna you know snatch my face up a tiny bit. Super cute. This foundation looks so good. It has to be one of the best matching foundations like I've ever used in my life. Like, just look at the colors to my neck. Like, it's so nice. Like. What in the colour match is going on here? So guys, I'm literally just going to add a bit of bronzer just to the face. Just to warm it up, just to set those powders as well and set my under eye. Ooh. Sorry, and this is the new Jouer bronzer. It's so nice, guys. Like, it's a new one for deeper skin tones. Like, if you haven't used it, definitely go and check it out. When I received it, I was just like, what the hell? So pretty. Okay, so I basically set everything and I need to like finish off my brows after. But I wasn't sure what palettes to go for. Like, oh my God, I've already got foundation on them. Um, I wasn't sure whether to go for the berries, which is this one here. So, so gorgeous. Or, but I feel like I always do a pink eye. Or shall I go for, for the violets? I think I'm gonna try and switch between both, but I really love the look of the violets, so I'm gonna go for this one just because, you know, it's purple, it's cute, and I feel like purple always complements deeper skin tones so perfect. Okay, so um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go in with this darker shade first. Um, I've already put a base on my lid, so hopefully everything should be packed as a cure, but I can tell this, pigment, this palette's gonna have pigment. So I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna like stamp this on my eye. These have super pigment. Oh my God. There's not any fallout in the pan as well. Like there's no fallout, which is good. I'm surprised because dark colors like this, like purples are really hard to make guys, like super hard. Then I'm gonna take this color and it's kind of like blur out the edges. Just so there's no harsh lines, guys, because we want to be blended in 2020. We want to be on fleek and just create that kind of nice transition. So I'm going to take this gorgeous purple shade here. This looks incredible. Let me just swatch it because... Oh, bitch, yo. My God. So I'm going to put that in the inner corner just so we can see what we're dealing with. Oh, this is like, hold on, there's a bit of fall down, a tiny bit, but it's fine. It's probably because I really digged my brush into the pan, but this, oh my God, no, I'm obsessed. Be careful because it's really pigmented, so you definitely have to tap the excess off, or I don't have any powder underneath, I've already got a tiny bit, so... This looks insane. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this shade here on the kind of like outer corner bit, just so we can create some ambiance. We can marinate these shades together. This palette is stunning. I'm like obsessed with it. That is really nice. It's adding depth, but it also has a really nice kind of reflex pearl in there which is super great so i'm gonna start the bottom lash line i'm gonna take this dark color again and then i'm gonna use that to buff it out just so we have like more of a gradient i thought i was gonna use the other palette but i just feel like the purple palette looks more beautiful by itself you could incorporate pink into it but i feel like this palette i've just gotten the look that i had in my head if you know what i mean so i'm just gonna sweep that under there then we're just going to take this one to blend these colours out underneath the lash line. These are blending like a damn dream. I haven't done a purple eye for so long. Um, I used to be addicted to purple. Like, it was actually, like, insane how, like, much purple I used to wear. But, guys, this palette by itself is just banging. Look, I just... 
Just look how that's blending out. Like, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm literally gonna do my liner and lashes off camera because I always do them off camera. So I'll be back in a mouth. Liner and lashes on, guys. I've literally put some white eyeliner in my eye just to make my eyes be a bit more awake because I am feeling hella tired. I'm gonna go in with this palette, but use these two as blushes because these are just so pretty. Ooh, looking like a Barbie. I'm just gonna add some highlight. I'm gonna add the Milk Glazed in, no, it's the Flex Highlight in Glazed. So pretty. And this is a Milk Makeup Brush. These are so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God, I totally forgot to add it in a corner highlight. What is wrong with me? So I'm gonna go in with the shade, this one here. It's kind of like a pearlescent pink. I'm just gonna add some of that there. Ooh. I knew something was missing. I was like, what is missing on my face? Ooh. Okay, I'm literally gonna throw on Fumi's um, Gloss in Royalty. This is one of my favorites. I really hope they have more of these because I'm literally running out of this one. It's basically like a nude lip in a gloss, kind of like liquid lipstick form, but it's definitely a gloss, but it's so pretty. So hey guys, this is the finished look. I'm super happy with the way it came out. I just feel like purples always look so gorgeous to me. I just know I can wear purple without it even failing. Um, these palettes are so good. Like, I'm excited to play with the chocolate one because that one looks right off my street. I use this one as a blush and these work so nicely as blushes. Like, the way it just blended into my skin, it's a whole moment. Like, but this palette here, this purple one is definitely my favorite. I used every color in the um, pan except for, um, I think I used every color actually. I think I actually did, which is crazy. And I created this beautiful eye look. Definitely let me know in the comments if you want me to create more looks using this palette because I definitely want to try and incorporate um, the rest of them into more looks. So definitely comment down below. Yeah, definitely let me know if you want, want me to incorporate these um, palettes into any more looks in next videos. And I shall see you in my next video, guys. Bye. <laughs>